hey guys welcome back to another video today i'm gonna show you guys how to build this medieval mansion which was requested by a lot of you guys who really wanted to recreate it this build is the only build i have made so far that i want to have it in survival to go on grand adventures and to return to appreciate the beauty of it and also to appreciate valheim more which is such an awesome game i'm just trying my best to inspire you all on what you can do with just vanilla build pieces so i hope this accomplish it with that said, let's jump right in. It is a hefty grind, but these are the basic materials you need for this build. You can pause the video if you need to make note of this. Okay, so this is the layout of the build. So you can see that it's not really ma massive. It's pretty compact, but when it's built out, it feels so huge. So I'm not putting any measurements there on the layout because there's some little overlapping that may cause some confusion and I want to avoid that. So I'm going to break it down so that you have this exact layout and then we'll tackle each section as we go along to get it completed. Okay, so to do the layout, so we're going to start off with uh, our two meter stone right here and we're just going to place one right here. So two, so two. Uh, Front, and then we're going to place one two to the side and one two to the side like that now this is going to be our front here and we're going to work on, we're going to work on that after we deal with the middle structure right here so it's best to start with this middle structure here we're going to i'm going to show you so i'm going to put this uh, stone right here in the middle and put one to the right here and one over to the left make sure that the stone overlap in the corner just like that so one two three so do the same thing overlap in the corner one two and three and overlap in the corner one two and three so the next thing that we're going to do is that you're going to raise so you're going to add uh stone walls nine more stone walls on top of the the layer that they have placed here so we're going to place a uh, one meter stone and with two meter stone basically basically alternate so we're basically making it staggered for some of you guys if you're not uh, if you're new to the building uh in valheim so we like to stagger the wall so that the, the stone work looks uh, really nice so we're going to raise this uh, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in total, you should have about 10. So start from the base here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And how I stagger the walls, uh, so you basically just alternate between the 1 meter and 2 meter stone. So there's a 1 meter here, so 2 meter, 2 meter going across and you have a one meter right here and uh, for the top here you see it's a two meter two meter and then there's another two meter in the middle and one meter at the edge and then two meter and you do so on so that you have a staggered wall like this i'm gonna do the rest off screen and show you what you should have next okay so once you're done you should have a, a box uh, uh looking like this here and so the next thing we're going to proceed to do is just grab our dark wood arch so dark wood arch right here and we're just going to connect these at the corners right here one right here another right here so we're just doing this uh all on each corners each of the corners now that you have that added so you're going to get you grab your one meter wood and you're just going to create a snapping point because you don't want it to snap all the way out here so let's create one right here and uh, one right here and what we're going to do is that we're going to get our one meter wood kind of snap in this uh, groove here. I'm just going to bring this all the way across just like that. We'll just grab our one meter wood right here and snap right here. And we're basically carrying this, carrying this around. As you can see, it's created a snapping point and you just carry it around and you should have a full box. Okay, great. So now that you have uh, these, uh, these filled in, now we're going to fill in the floors. So we're just going to get to our... Our floor in right here let's go across let's go around structure like this once you have that in switch to your core we'll grab your core wood and you're just going to place it right on the corners right here and here and here here as well so it should have adequate supports for the roof we're just going to grab a one meter wood and we're just going to create our roof overhang so one going uh, it should have like a 90 degree angle like that. It basically creating a box uh, just like this. So you're just going to do it on each of these core wood. So now that you have these one meter overhang added, so we're just going to add these little walls here. Wooden walls to the side, just like this. All right here. So you're doing up to all each of these sides here, these little, little small uh, pockets. 
Okay, so you're so basically leaving this op this ear open on all four sides. Okay, so now that you have added these little one meter walls here in these little corners right here, so we can uh, now focus on our window section for the structure. So you're gonna grab your two meter darkwood pole, and you're gonna place one right here and one right here. So you're doing it for for each of the sides like this. Then you're gonna switch on over to your darkwood arch. You're gonna attach it to the top there rotate it and you should have one piece going that way you're going to attach one over there you should also put the dark poles underneath these ones that will be connecting to these little uh the walls so it's going to pull those in quickly just like that i switch back to your arch and you're going to to place this one right here you can, you can aim on this or you can aim on that whichever snap one right there and for this one, you aim at the top so that you can get it right underneath or on the... Let's see if you can get this. So you can place it right there so that you can get it slide in like that. So you're going to do the same thing for all the other sides. Okay, so you can see that the structure is slowly taking shape. So now we're going to switch our focus on to the roof. So for on top of these little uh, window, we're going to get a half wall and we're just going to connect it. This going across just like this. So you can see you just need four to go across. You're just doing the same thing all around the structure. Okay, so once you have all of these uh, half walls in place on top of the windows here, well above, so you're gonna switch on to your 45 degree roof or corner. And you're gonna place one on each of these little overhang here so that you can get your roof shaping up. Just like this. And now it's pretty easy to attach the roof pieces. So you're going to get a 45 degree uh, roof piece. And you're just going to just aim here at the side. So you can get that in the side that is going across like that. So you have all those added. You switch back over to the, the old corner dark roof piece. You just attach it right here. And these are the last uh, last set of these uh, roof pieces that you will add. And you just switch back to your regular 45. Just fill these in, just like that. And for the middle, you just you can either use uh, one of these uh, shingle roof ridge, whether it's 45 or 26. I like the 26. It kind of keeps like a low and kind of you know fit into it. So that's kind of set it this way. So this is the front. So basically, this is what you're seeing, and this is how the structure looks so far. Okay, so next we're going to add some little detail here so to keep with the flow of the theme of this structure we're going to add these dark wood beams going across like that uh, for this part here we're going to do something different so for the meantime you can take these out you can just take these out just leave it open for now it will be filling some little wooden walls so you can just uh, get a wooden wall and just kind of fill this section here out because we're going to have a structure here connecting to the side of this we just take out this uh, dark wood right here. There's one right here, and we're gonna fix that section up a little bit later. So for here, for the front, and for the detail of the window, we use the Verger metal walls. So you kind of see it snap right in, in the middle section there, and you're just gonna place it on top. Just kind of give you a nice little uh, window design there. I love these. I love these. It's looks so sexy. So yeah. Uh, so we're gonna move on to the inside here. We're just gonna add the glass. So. I will add the glass it's best to have the glass behind not snapping like how you see right there you're gonna hold down on shift key and it's gonna manual place it right behind it just make sure that it is uh, it's quite fine let me kind of bring this over so that you can make sure you have space there for the other side just like that and you're just gonna bring this uh, bring this across just like this here and what you're gonna do is just aim at the, the virgil walls and you can see the snaps right in because if you aim at the glass it's going to show red and doesn't support glass and this is for persons who don't know about how glass works in in the game so you kind of just fill this area out just like this just going all the way up to the top fill this out make sure that it doesn't snap right in as it did right there and just make sure it's right behind the virgil wall the reason is i'm going to show you what's going to happen is that when you look at it from afar you can see the diverger wall in front of the glass and you kind of get that nice little style of design there if it was overlapping the diverger wall you would not see these uh at all so you can bear in mind of that so you're going to do the same thing designed here on this side uh for this part here we're not going to do it so leave it as is so only do it for this side right here 
So the next thing what we're gonna do, so after you have completed this side here and added the glass, you're gonna get uh, your regular walls and you're gonna turn it to show the back just like this. So you're gonna fill the back right here and just gonna fill this section right here going across just like that. And you can do the same for here going across like that. I'm gonna leave this for now. So that's what you should have. And we're gonna focus on this little structure right here. So you're going to grab your one meter stone. You're just going to place uh, the one right here. So you're going to raise this about uh, this in total should be seven stone walls in height. So this is one. This is two. This is three. This is four, five, six, seven. And you guys are going to fill, the, fill these out until you have a, a box. So the next thing that you're going to do is that you're going to grab it your arch your stone arch so on the sixth wall sixth wall going up so one two three four five six so right here you place the arch on that side and you place another on this side here and you're going to get your two meter stone you're just going to place it one right here and one right here you switch back to one meter stone you're going to place one right there one right here yeah so once you have one meter stone right here it was on up two meter stone right here and then you get your one meter stone bolt right here and you place one right in the middle and one meter stone right here and then you're going to switch back to your two meter stone uh better yet let's use one meter stone to finish up the top just like that then you're going to top it up by displacing one meter stone right here in the middle just uh, hold down on shift key just manually place that just make sure you use make sure it's centered so that it doesn't look uh off the the stone is pretty twisted so it's going to look pretty weird and then we're going to put our root pieces in so right now i'm just going to aim right here at the back and there's a snapping point right here i'm using the roof reach 45 degree and it snaps right here just because of the two meter stone there and we're just going to add our root piece just like this going across right here into the wall so kind of aim on this side so it kind of overlaps it just like that and then you get the ridge and just aim right at the back so it kind of overlaps it uh it right there and you just fill the, the other side in now that you have this uh, added here you're just gonna get your your wooden walls and you're going to slide it up to the top right here just fill in those little pockets right there so you guys do this on both sides just like that then for the detail right here we're gonna get our column or stone column because what it happens is it's gonna have it uh, snapped in like this so like that so one over here like that and you're just gonna bring this down just make sure that so you should have something looking like that the next we're going to do is open up our doorways and windows so starting from the front right here we're going to take these two meters still out so about so this is going to be our doorway and for the windows is going to be going to leave a space right here and you're going to one space right here and a space right here so the third stone up you're going to take this out uh you just start from so this is going to be the side it's going to be so just fill that back pocket out there so it's going to be one take this out two so it should be three stone walls uh, high and it should you should have a stone wall right here and your window is two more to the front of the structure so you do the same thing over here let's take this out kind of fill that little pocket right there take this out swap that out and you should have your windows uh, added just like that okay so now that you have the windows and the uh, doors added so we're going to focus on the front right here so get your one meter wood and right in this spot right here uh so it's going to be one two three four five six so right in between the groove where you have the the stone arch and the, the two meter so that snapping part right there where it meets and you're going to put one over right here then you're going to get your two meter pole you're just going to connect it going all the way down to the ground just like that next you're going to get your one meter wood and you're going to attach it to the side right here you can see notice that there's a snapping point because of the, the stone columns so you're going to place one right here and place a two meter right here you're going to do the same thing on the other side so one meter right here and a two meter right here okay once you have these in so you're going to get your 45 degree piece here so you're gonna have this tucked into the wall just like that and have one pushing forward like that so have this tucked into the wall 
and now I have one coming up like that. And then you're gonna get your 45 degree roof ridge and snap it in just like that. well make sure that this is tucked into the wall so just make sure that that's done properly and then you can have this slide in just like that and for the front here we're just going to get a 45 degree beam so we just place this on top it overlaps each other when you just just aim at it and snaps it in it nice and easy there for this uh for the opening right here you're going to get your dark wood arch and you're just going to snap a piece here and snap one just like that for there and then for this little section here you're going to create a snapping point so you're going to place a one meter wood right here and one right here so you're going to get a beam that's going across just like this we're just gonna so this is going to be our front here and what's going to happen is that you're going to also create a snapping point here for the, the opening section here so you're gonna get your 45 degree, uh, well, get it one meter, you're gonna snap one right here and snap one right here. You can take those out uh, afterwards. We're just gonna create a triangle in the middle right there. And this kind of, you can aim uh, on it just to see, well, we can just try to take these out first and then we can put it back in. So, so, so that you can save on instance, you can take this out and just place it with that. And do the same over here and just uh, replace it with the two meter now once you have these added here so we're going to focus on adding our columns and to do this you're going to get your start with a two meter pole and you're just going to aim at the ground and just uh, kind of have it a little close enough to the one to the back of it and just like that and then switch to your one meter pull down on shift key rotate it two times draw it close enough so that the crease is pretty flush right here do the same thing on the other side just like that switch over to your two meter hole and do the same thing just like this switch over to one meter for the back here you don't really have to do the middle here so that's fine and you just basically snap these pieces going all the way up just like that you also want to make sure that you do it in this the order that i've shown you so that you can have this being overlapped and just have these slide in nicely tucked in and for the top right here we're just gonna get so one meter wood can yeah we can have that uh and like that or maybe we can bring it a little bit we don't want it to push all the way up through the roof we want it to look neat and clean and we'll just finish the back section here so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna repeat the same step on this column and i'll show you the next thing that we will do now so the next thing we're going to do, just a little adjustment here. So you're going to switch over to your 45 degree wall. Swap these out for for these here. And you're going to get your half wall to fill in these little pockets right here. Well, if it is not troubling you, then you can just leave it alone. But for me, yeah, uh, I had to do that. And just kind of slide. Let's make sure that it's filled out and kind of slide to the back of the little uh, triangle wall that you just placed. We just make sure that this one is also added as well so that's good and the detail we're gonna add is we're gonna get our two meter well before we add the two meter we're gonna grab our dark wood arch take this out and then we're just gonna snap this right on top of it take this top piece out and snap the dark wood arch on top of it like that get your two meter beam just kind of close up a bit here and you're going to manually place this in because we're kind of giving this a bit of depth because it looks flat so you're just going to line it up with the two meter this two meter beam here to slightly above just like that and we're just going to carry this across well we can use a one meter uh, beam here just kind of fill this out it's kind of disappear right into this arch uh, for the sides here these uh uh, beams here you can take these out so we're just going to have just the the shingle roof here showing for the side we we'll just take this one out take all these ones out here and it's just going to be just like just like that and for the front here we're just going to get our 45 degree we're going to manually place this in uh it's going to place it about here and we can let it snap in it's okay we can make it snap in that's fine because uh, we want to have that look here and for the middle we're just going to have a one of the poles you're just going to rotate it so the edge here is uh, facing towards you and you should have the front looking like this now it's time to add the rest of the details so first we're going to focus on the top right here you're going to grab your raven adornments and you're going to snap it right on top of this uh 
the roof uh, ridge here and this nicely snaps in like that switch on over to your one meter cage and you're just gonna snap these going right into the back of the raven just like that i think we can maybe i don't think we need to put any more that should be fine but let's kind of fill that pocket out let's take this out put that in put the raven back in there this is gonna aim right there just like that so that it can just flow into the raven disappear like that and for the top right here well for the back here we're just gonna do the same thing so grab the cage and you're just gonna fill this and just kind of go into the window uh just like that now for the base here for our columns so that it can pop and uh, make this uh bill look a bit more fancier so we're gonna grab a one meter wood and just pull down on shift keys slide it halfway in to the the column just like that and snap these in easy around it so you just hold down on shift key slide it in halfway snap it around you switch to the dark wood dividers so you're gonna switch to these here and you're gonna snap these on the sides like that you can save resources by not adding the one to the back but if you are picky like me we'll just add it uh, in because <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Although it feels like, yeah, when we're exiting, you may see these little open spots here. So, yeah, it's back to using one meter wood, and we just kind of finish it off by wrapping the top just like this. And your basically your front of your bill should be looking like this. The next detail you're going to add, you're going to take out this two meter wood, and then you're just going to add the dark wood beam right there. So it kind of flows with the, the dark wood arch and you have that nice little pattern design and then now we're going to focus on our doorway right here so it's going to be some big doors so we don't have really big narrow doors like this in volume so we're going to make our own and we're just going to frame out our doorway just like this we're going to focus on the top here pull down on shift key just slightly place it uh, above the beam right back here and you just hold down uh well for right here you're just going to aim to the side just make sure that this kind of turns in to the stone and you just kind of have like this nice little a little uh top design there and for the doors you're going to grab your gates the wood gates and you're just going to place one uh well let's manually place it in because you wanted to sit back a bit kind of give the build a depth you know like just like that then we're just going to do the same here we're kind of gonna get a piece to snap in uh, just aim at the top kind of overlap it like this and there you have it you have a nice little big door so we're going to focus on the window now so we're going to get our two meter pole and we're going to add to the side right here and into the side right here and then get your beam for the bottom and for the top and you're going to kind of do the same thing like you do with the door uh, instead you're just going to make this this go all the way across just like that uh, for the window we can make it a little bit fancier let's make it like uh, a little bit makes the edge kind of poke out a bit I like to do that because it does give the bill a little bit some depth there so let's do it for both sides like that slide these in and then the switch on over to the vertical walls and you're just gonna fill these in uh, like that so kind of like because it's gonna kind of show up to the top here we don't want it to do that because it's not gonna look too it's not gonna look pretty so hold on shift key kind of set it back there and so that it kind of goes into the wall and you don't really see it that imperfection so once that is added you can just go inside and add your crystals for the glass and make sure that it's not snapped over the diverter walls so right at the back here and you just fill these area out and you're just going to do the same thing on the other window okay so another detail we're going to add here to the side so you're going to get your two meter stone you're going to snap it in just like that and the other right here switch on over to your steers and you're going to snap the this piece right on top of it so it should go into the wall like that and just aim to the side here so that you can slide this other piece in like that and you're going to get your half wall you can pull the base right here with it then you get your one meter floor and just it was rotated just so that the, the, the line kind of flows in one direction just like that Okay, so now that you have gotten this far, so we're just going to go inside here, open up our little doorway right here. Let's get our one meter stone, just in sort of fill out any little openings. Uh, little detail you can do is just make a, a little doorway just using the wood, so like this. Now it is optional if you want to skim in material or save on instance, uh, so that is good. And for when you fill out the flooring, 
So a little detail will add to the side of the wall here to kind of get that medieval touch. Where we have the wood trim kind of going around the base here of the structure. So that is optional. So it is left up to you. The, we're going to work out the stairway to get up to the top here. So you're going to place a one meter wood right here in the corner. Get your ladder. You're going to place one right here and one right here. And you guys are going to place another here. And basically going all the way up like this one two three going across like that then what you're going to do is that you're going to make a little doorway right here so just to confirm that it should be one two three four five and then you make the door right here just pull these back out with one meter wall uh stone wall and then you have a little doorway here you're going to get your two meter floor just kind of fill this little spot there and you're just going to get a one meter wood right in the corner so that you can continue with the ladder going up to the top and if it is the case that you want to follow the same design or layout like what i have in the the display one you're going to break this this staircase here instead of it snapping on top of this one you're going to bring it down and it's basically snapping right underneath it right here so it's like it's, it's halfway and you just break that one and what you're going to do is that you're going to have a steer turn into that direction so you're going to break this you're going to put a one meter floor going across like that it should be good you should have enough uh, head clearance where you can just put a wood right here and you should be able to slide down into this little section here let's break this out make sure that we have going properly set Oops. And for right here, so you should have a little narrow pathway like this. Kind of save on space, so you kind of go down, and you're able to have a good head clearance to go underneath. So now that we're done with the middle structure here, we're gonna focus on the two side structures. So the first layout is gonna start right here. So the grab your two meter stone, and you're gonna check it by. So you have a two meter space right here, and a one meter, and then you're gonna place the next uh, next layout about right there, and you're going to go one two three and a one meter stone about right there and you guys are gonna overlap it and for the front you go one two three then for the back right here so in line with the structure you're gonna place a two meter stone and then what you're gonna do is that you're gonna bring this line going all the way down so one two three and four and this is the layout for the left structure now for the right structure what you're going to do basically one meter stone space so you're going to do the next spot right here and it's going to be one two three then you're going to overlap the edge right here one two three four and you're just going to bring this all the way back here and then finish it off by lining up with this structure here just like that and just add your one meter stone right into that corner here so you should see the layout looking like this here so this is what you should see for the back of it next thing we're going to do so focusing on the left structure first we're going to raise the walls six stone walls high so starting from the bottom here so it's going to be one and two and three four five and six and we're just going to make sure that the walls are staggered. So you're just going to repeat the same method that you do with these ones. It's going across like this. Okay. Overlapping like that. And just make sure that all the sides are six stone walls in height. I'm going to add another row right here. One, two, three. And then you're going to grab your stone arch. Place it on this side and on the other side like that. You're going to get your one meter stone placed on both sides here. Get your two meter stone and just kind of fill this out. One meter stone right here one meter stone right here two meter stone pull out the middle one meter stone right here one meter stone here and two meter stone and we get, get back to one meter stone two meter stone and we just get the one meter stone right here for the top we can just add one meter stone right here to kind of finish it off looking like this and now next we can focus on the roof Next, you're going to add your roof piece. So where you see the arch right here, this little right in the snapping point to the back right here, you see where it's, the roof is snapped in now. This is where you're going to start your roof. And you're just going to bring this across, going into the wall right here. And you're just going to carry this all, all the way up to the top. So you're just coming all the way across like this. You should have like a one meter 
overhang like that as you can see so it should be good should be right on track for underneath here to fill in these little pockets get the upside of the wall wooden wall and you guys gonna turn the back of it and just gonna slide it up just make sure it face on the top wall right there and you just kind of fill the the section here out just like that and for this little section here i would suggest that you get a uh, stone and just kind of fill this little pocket here because we're going to make a doorway so we're going to fill it up first and fill this out let's go all the way up the top like that so there should be a doorway right here that connects to a little little compartment here so we can just break this 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 and we can kind of fill that back mm -hmm. in like that and we can get our 45 degree wood and we kind of make this uh clean this up a bit so this kind of snap piece uh of wood right there uh just like that wooden one meter beam just like that here gets your 45 degree just kind of clean up the edge right here it's kind of go all the way up and to the roof just like that we need and clean and for this little section here just get a one meter wood just going to Two meter wood going straight down and you're just going to add another row of this going back up one meter wood right at the top here you just do the same thing on this side this one meter wood going all the way down and that is it for this little portion here and we work out the inside uh, afterwards so for the front here well for this side here we're gonna get to our wooden wall and we're just gonna hide the little pockets right up there and for here we're gonna mark our windows so there should be a stone column right here so make sure it's snapped right underneath right within the arch just like that and just kind of bring it all the way down here just aim at the bottom there you kind of get that piece in you can do the same for the other side I mean all the way down you kind of get that piece in like that and then we're gonna open up this window here so it's gonna be two meters uh, in width so you're going to start from here, one, two, we just bring this up, take that out, fill that. Uh, we're just going to make sure we open right here as well. So this, take this, fill that out. And we're just going to break this last piece here up the top. So the windows should be one, two, three, four stone walls in height. Make sure to fill this little pocket right here. And we're just going to frame it out, get our two meter wood. We just make sure that we have the edge pointing to us just like that give the build more depth uh fill the pocket right here switch back our two meter wood just kind of rotate it fill that in do the same thing on the other side the one meter two meter wood for the top here and for the bottom and uh, kind of create a little depth there for kind of make our window pop just like that and kind of make this rotate into the rotate it into the wall we kind of rotate a little bit more so it kind of shear the space with the other side like this we'll just do the other side right here and we get the or the burger walls and we're just going to do the same oh let's not put in the wood because isn't that it's uh, just the right uh right uh height so just do the same thing right here nice and clean and what we can do is that we can go out to the back here we're going to open up our section here for our doorway so we're going to fill this little pocket here with a one meter stone take this one out so about three stone walls uh, in height and so that we can put one of these uh, wooden gates here for our doorway and we can set it about right here It'd be good and just kind of frame this out nice and clean kind of hide the jagged edge of the, the stone just do the other side like this as well and for the top let's add another wood trim there you can have like a one meter wood kind of poking out just like that so it's optional so it's just kind of giving you some design ideas that you guys can do okay and then for inside here we just fill it out with the glass so let's make sure you place it right behind the, the burger walls and you should be good Okay, once you have the glass in place so for the top section here you're going to so in line with the with the stone right here and you see that it's uh, in line with the windows so you're going to fill this uh, top section out uh, with wooden floor so next thing what we're going to do after that is done so you're going to go back outside and you're going to add more detail to the front here so switch back to switch to your one meter wood and you're going to place a window ledge right here 
uh, right over here get your stone stairs and you're going to push this into the wall just like this and it kind of bring this all the way across into to the other side of the structure like that you're going to get your four meter four by two meter stone wall and you're going to place it right in the corner right here uh, it should be higher than this one this is uh, this one meter stone one minute stone in heights right here because we want to kind of give this a part a little bit of depth and we just kind of get our stone stairs and we can slide this in like that and you should have the structure looking like this the next thing that you're going to do is that you're going to add the wood wooden poles going down so what you're going to do is it's going to place a you can use that as a guide you're going to place one right here and you're going to place one right behind it like that let's see let's kind of get this in or you can just place one right here and kind of do it right here which will be a lot easier snap these in do the same over here snap these in kind of bring this all the way let's bring it all the way up overlapping the dark arch like that let's do the other side and you should have the side of structure looking like this you can also do this on the other side right here uh it doesn't matter though because uh, i don't really see it but you can just do it just uh this is gonna be gonna be even there's some level of consistency in what you're doing so you kind of bring this all the way up and overlap in the arch just like that and all the detail that you can add as well so you're going to get your stone floor and you're just going to manually place this in so if your floor if the ground is flat then you should be able to do this i'm not holding on the shift key you can just place it in like that just to make sure it's lined up all uh, right and then just kind of stone the, the base of the structure right there you can do the same thing on the other side and just kind of stone the base of the structure like that we're going to leave this little pocket here because we're going to add a little more detail here so for this little side structure here we're going to add some little wood trim because this wall looks a bit dry so we're going to add some a bit of life here so starting from where the column well the arch is so you're going to place a 45 degree beam like that and you're going to place another on the other side like that going across get your regular beam going across like this and you're going to get your holes and you're just going to rotate it make sure the edge is uh, facing you and just go down the line like this we just do basically like a one meter gap in between for each of these going down and you can kind of bring this up here all the way up here make sure to go to the top like that and for the bottom here you're gonna get your four by two meter stone wall you go one right here one over here get your stone stairs and fill it in just tucked into the wall nice and neat like that and we're just gonna add a little bit of depth to this little this woodwork that we started so kind of zoom in so you can see clearly so hold down the shift key and just place it in like that make sure the top kind of line up with the with this line with this with this beep here so the top part right here and you can just do the same thing kind of draw close kind of look at the middle part the middle section underneath here just to make sure it has a nice little triangle that looks like it's uh it's lined up properly it looks good to me and just hold on shift key and just line that side up and also do the other side right here i also added uh, some wooden trim right here so you're gonna place so that the front of the, the the wooden wall should be facing you not the back and you just kind of fill these little pockets here. Let's we'll make sure it's filled in properly uh, like that. Also, I, I did the same thing underneath here. I didn't show it uh, when I was adding the, these little stairways. So you can add these in as well. And for right here, one more thing we're going to do before we move on from this little structure here. We're just going to add these uh, wooden iron cages on the top like that. Just kind of finishing that look just like we have going on right here. So you have the... A theme going on so we're going to focus on the right side and what we're going to do is that we're going to raise these stone walls the nine stone walls high so starting from the base here so this is going to be one then this is going to be two three until you have it's uh, nine stone walls in height so once you have your stone structure in place for the right uh, right side of the build here you're going to put your arch your stone arch right here and one right here and you're going to get your one meter stone on the left right and then switch it to your two meter 
Then in one meter stone, I'm gonna fold this out here. Bring this up. Put the one meter stone right here. Let's do this on the other side. One minute stone. One minute stone right here. And it is finished up by just putting uh, two of these one meter stone just like that. Don't put a, a little tip. Well, a single one meter stone at the top here. Just leave it as is. Uh, it may, yes, it actually needs some support. So as you can see, it's breaking. So this is going to go inside right here. And we're just going to place our iron. Iron poles to support this structure here. So it's fine. You just can only place uh, the irons in the corners here. So you don't have to put any in the, the middle. So just can bring this all the way up. Oh, best that you can do that before, <laughs> before building this section here. Uh, I should have done that before. But yeah, once you have that in, you can notice that it's uh, pretty supported. So once you have that done, then we're going to have to focus on the roof. And put the roof in. Go to... So you have a snapping point right here. So, so it'd be right this little spot here it's where you would put the roof you're just going to bring this all the way up and you're going to get to your roof ridge just like that and it should just go into into the other structure right here and you're going to get the regular roof and just kind of bring this all the way down just like that that's how it should look and you kind of do the other side now for this part, you're going to do the same thing with the stone for the front. So you're going to get your your arch. Place one right there. You're place a one meter stone. Two meter. One meter stone right here. Just back to two meter. What you're going to do is you're going to take these out. Take these out. Because there's going to be this regular wall right here. So let's get your regular wall. You can choose which side I think seeing that this is what's showing on the other side so to kind of make it because it's not going to be in line with it so with the these these little wood strips at the back here that's why i don't use it on the other side so i'm gonna keep this side kind of clean and we can put these uh the dark wood arch back here so you have uh something like this and you're gonna finish on working on this little section it's kind of full right underneath here with a, a stone uh put a one meter stone right here and finished off like that so what you can do is that you can now grab your, your roof and finish it off by doing this and so it just looks uh neat and clean there okay so next you're gonna open up this area here and you kind of just clean this up a bit because we're gonna try to access this here for using this space so you're gonna get your upside down uh but by the wall, I'm just kind of snap that in and just get your regular wall there. Just kind of fill that little section there and just do the other side. Just like that. And you can just basically try to get like a, you can create like a doorway doorway for here. The next thing that you're going to do is that you're going to take these out. You don't really need these here. It will not add breaking the wrong stuff here. Okay, so for the back right here, which is in the, the tower, see, there were some little arches that we've added here. You can just take those out. I uh, don't really need those. Kind of fill this in right here. So where the floor is going to start, you're going to place the stairs right here. And this is what it will rest on. So just kind of go across just like this. Just kind of fill this out. So this is going to be a little room. It can be like a little dress room or whatever. I've seen, I've used this area like a little uh, back area, so... It is optional. It is what, what you guys want it to be. So let your imagination go wild with it. So once you have that filled out. So I'm going to get a regular wall here. I like to use the back. Or like the inside. And kind of do the sides here. We're going to do the outside. We want to get the inside layout. So cleared up. And once we have that done. There's going to be a window right here. So you're going to open this up. Break this. Get a one meter stone. Pull this back. So... And should be about uh, about this size here. So it's nice size window for top here. Now for underneath here, we're going to add a detail. So we'll get the wall and kind of fill up this back section here. Just like that. We'll just do the other side. Once 
once you have that done so we're going to add some bit more detail for the sides right here so you can grab your, your stone column and you can bring this part down we're going to do the other side then you're going to grab your four meter four by two meter stone and you can see it's overlapping to the corner of the column here and you're gonna have one kind of go right in to the wall just like that the next thing that you're gonna do is that you're gonna grab your regular wall wooden wall you're gonna turn it around that's gonna show the back here so you're gonna aim right above so one stone one meter stone space and then you're gonna place it right here so it should be a one meter stone space to the side and the bottom and for the other side right here so it should be like a one meter stone then a two meter stone then you kind of place it in that groove right there and then you're going to switch to your half wall and you're going to do the same I'm going to bring this up like that and you switch on over to a 26 degree wall and just place it on top of those just that right in there and then for underneath here for detail we're going to get our darkwood arch to make it look like it's being supported and add these right underneath make sure that it's snapping because there's a sometimes it will have its uh, different snapping points uh, there within the stone here and for the front, so we're going to get the dark. Yes, we're going to use the dartwood arch for the top right here. And uh, we're going to get the two meter dartwood arch and kind of get it to overlap right there. We can do, do it at the front. So do it like this. And you kind of fill this out with a wooden floor right here. And we're just going to basically open this up. So we're just going to get a one meter stone just to make sure that we fill out any copies that, like that. So break this, break this this so fill this back in here okay and we just fill this uh, section here and it should be good so this should be a floor so we're gonna place a regular wind floor here so this is how, how it should be so one two three and then the wooden floor it's going in line with the, with the little overhang structure right here so we're going to work on the roof so we're going to add a one meter wood going that direction and one going this direction and we're just going to get our four to five well, 26 degree roof uh, shingle and we're going to snap it right here so the edge should be in line with this one meter uh beam and we're going to do the same thing on the other side i already have that set there so we're just going to snap that in and we can just uh, kind of aim at the back of it so you can probably stand about right here to make it a lot easier for you where you can look up and aim right at the back kind of get that piece slide in just kind of bring it over and just put your last roof piece in right there in the middle then we will add our iron cage here so it's going to overlap two sides for the top here we just have to use the one meter cage and fill these in just like that the next little detail we're going to add is a window ledge so we're going to add one meter wood right in the middle one over to this left one to the right and just kind of wrap it around just like that and for the underneath here we're going to use the stone stairs and we just kind of get close and just kind of aim right underneath it should snap in nicely so that should that should be good and we just kind of bring this just bring this across just like that Okay, so the next little detail we're gonna add is a the stone here at the base kind of pull down shift key and maybe slide this in just halfway in and just kind of bring this across like it's lined up with the edge of the structure right here we won't go that further because we're gonna add something right here later on we don't want that to cause any problems so now we're gonna go inside and work out the the, the layout for that structure so you're gonna take out these uh walls here and grab your one meter stone you're gonna break this wall so you're gonna make it center take that out that out so this should be your door height and just grab your your wooden gates and just kind of slide that in and add some detail here to frame out our doorway just like that now we're inside and to work out the stairway so you're gonna have a ladder right here and then you're gonna have two of these one meter wood then you're going to get your regular wooden stairs and you're going to snap it right in front of that going up so you should have a nice little area here 
a nice smooth air flowing coming up. Uh, you're gonna place uh, a floor right there, so it's uh, so it kind of give you more space to work with. All right, so you're gonna get like a you can use like maybe a wood shutter or you can just use a regular wood uh, wall. I'm gonna use regular wood wall, but bear in mind when you're placing it right here uh, to hold down on shift key and just a manual place it just back a bit. Reason being is that when if you place it and snap it in, you won't be able to pass. Your character won't be able to pass properly. So you can bear in mind of that. And then you can do that on the other side. Now there's going to be a stairway right here going up to another another uh, couple doorways. One right here and one over here. So let me get that out now. So I'm going to place a stairway right here. Now there's going to be another stairway about here. So we're going to get a oh, one meter stairs so you're gonna place right here so kind of check it by one two three and then you can place it right about there once you have that there then you can place this ladder right there on top of it i'll uh, just make sure it's lined up properly let me fix this stairway here so that it doesn't snap on the snap on this wood and you have a nice uh stairway going up to this part so there's going to be a doorway right here so you're going to break this stone put that back it's going to be like a small doorway and also there's going to be a doorway uh right here as well so you can take this out and we're just going to mark it for now and we'll work out the the, the layout of the floor for, the, for here later on Okay, so what I've done off screen is I've added this uh, 26 degree beam to the side of this roof and also added the glass so you can make uh, you can go ahead and do that now for the structure that's going to be right here which is going to be our balcony or dining area our kitchen is going to be over here so we're going to work out the front of this this major structure here so that we can frame out the balcony section so to get this in you would check from if you have these little columns here already so you check from here and it would be the column and then one two three and then you place a stone wall right here and you're gonna go three four three four five so you should go five stone walls across so once you have five right there you're gonna grab your two meter stone overlap in the corner here so that's one two three four five and six then overlap the corner right here and then one so that's one and it's two and then three and what you're going to do is that you're going to put a tower right here so you're going to grab your one meter stone place one right here place a two meter stone right beside it and then you're going to rotate it by two times place a one meter stone right here and a two meter stone right here rotate it two times using the one meter stone one right there and two meter stone right here we're just doing the same thing over and over until we can make a octagonal shape structure. Great. So once that is in, you can just bring this wall coming down. So overlap it like that and just bring this all the way down like this. So your layout should be looking like that. Look at the front here. And uh, yeah, so the same thing over here. And while we're at it, seeing that we we can finish the other layouts pretty easy and don't have any issues because we have like this was like the major one that was concerning to me. So we're going to have the other ones that added here. So for the left side here, left back, we're going to place so in line with this, this structure here. So ignore this little part here. So right here. So we're going to leave this space and then we're going to place a two meter wall right behind it. And it's going to be one, two, three. Then you're going to grab your one meter stone, place one right there, place a two meter stone right here. So this is going to be our second tower. So you're going to alternate one, two, rotate two times. Switch to one meter stone, rotate it two times. So the wall that is going to come across is going to start from right here. So you're going to bring this wall. All the way across right here and just fill this little, little area here with a one meter stone so this is going to be your little tiny courtyard for the back back section here and we will work out this area once we have this structure uh, up so this is going to be our next focus so for this main structure that we're going to work on next is we're going to raise the walls 14 stone walls high but what you will need to do is that you're going to add these uh, wood iron beams 
uh, in the corners here. So only in the corners, you don't need it in the middle because the middle will get enough support. So to make sure that they're, they're snapping in the corner properly for you, if you don't want to manually place it, you can just place it one meter wood in each of the corners there and just kind of snap it right underneath it, just like that. And while you're bringing the wall up, you can bring these up as well. So once you have the wall up, so on the back here where you have the wooden iron poles going up so at the very top here you're going to bring a wood iron beam going across to touch the other side to support the middle next what you're going to do is that you're going to place a stone arch right about here and you're going to place a two meter stone about here it's going to make sure it's staggered uh for over here we're not going to put any arch you can leave it as is i'm going to put a one meter stone right here and bring this across we're gonna do again we're gonna put a one meter stone right here actually it's supposed to be right here break that break that and you're gonna bring this across so one minute stone right here and for the top right here what you're gonna do is that gonna use a Put a one meter stone right in the middle so now that is in place we can work out our little balcony area here and also our dining area underneath which will be connected to there's going to be a doorway right here so so we're going to grab our iron beam and what you're going to do we're going to do a layout first of it so we're going to use the wooden uh so rotate one time so it's basically started from the size right here it should be snapping into the wall this column here and it's gonna what you're gonna do is that one rotation is straight one rotation then another rotation right here another right here another right here another right here it's gonna be making like a perfect circle and once it's it's gonna be straight in line with this structure here and you can carry this across just like that so there's the same thing that you're gonna do with the balcony so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna grab your wood iron pole and you're gonna place it right here Make sure that it's touching the ground so if it's showing blue then you're good to go and what you're going to do is that you're going to count up one two three four five so this is where you want to want to be so right above a number five stone wall you're going to get the wood iron beam and just snap it right there and going across just like that and just connect the wood iron pole on the side right here now that we have that in place switch on over back to the beam and then rotate it one time and you're just gonna follow the layouts at the bottom here. So make sure it's one rotation for each of them. Don't worry, it will not break. So you should have enough uh, support to go place your wooden pole, iron poles right here and uh, bring it up for support. And there you disconnect it from there next you're gonna grab your cage and you're going to so you don't need to fill out the whole air with the cage I like to save on resources and the iron is pretty precious and also placing the cage you will need to set it above set it right up right up top there so not snapping in like that as you can see you can see the different height there so this is the one that snaps in this is the one that is set above reason being is that when you're placing this stone a stone floor you don't want the wood iron the cage to be shown underneath it you want it to look clean and it kind of stuck itself inside the stone so kind of bring this across just like that and i'm just going to mix it so some will have and some won't so i will leave a gap right here just kind of saving on resources uh, we can put this in and just kind of slide this in and just take this out so basically this is how i do it kind of skim on material <laughs> so that's a way you can kind of save on some little iron here here and there and so you're going to grab your stone floor and you're going to start with the front here especially with the curve here so you're going to aim at the wood iron beam right here snap in like that and you're going to rotate it and it should be snapped in like that so what you should see is just the stone floor and not the cage so bear in mind that when you're placing the cage it should be right on top of these 
with iron uh, beams on the side here. So we're going to carry this around. I'm going to shape up the front of this balcony here. Also, bear in mind when you're placing these stone floors, you may find yourself getting like two snapping points. Let's make sure that it's in line with the, the stone, these stones here. That is why I advise you to do these ones first so that when you're doing the middle parts, you may experience a little bit of that issue, just like this one where you have a it's uh, slightly above. So just bear in mind that. Now that you have the top section added, so you're going to get grab your core wood and you're going to snap it in these little creases here. I'm going to put one right here too. One right there. And then you're going to switch on over to your four meter and just snap it underneath these. Okay, once you have these added, so you're going to get your two meter beam and we're just going to cover these iron beams up. Once those beams are in, switch over to your darkwood arch and you're going to snap it starting from the frontier. So one like that, one like that. And you're going to rotate it to the direction of this uh, stone floor. So one should be like that and other like that. And do the same for the other side. Great. Once you have those added, then you can switch over to your half wall. I'm going to turn the show the back of the, the wall here and just kind of snap these in at the base here. For this little gap right here, we're just going to take out this uh, 2 meter of wood and just grab your stone and just kind of fill this out. Then we grab our <laughs> then we grab our diverger walls and we place it right on top. Filling out these areas here. So this is going to be a window. I uh, choose not to put glass because I want it to be I want it to feel airy inside. Then for right here, we're going to grab our 2 meter dark wood beams and kind of clean this up a bit it's going to go across and for more details we're going to grab our two meter beam and we're going to give it some depth so we're going to place it slightly a little bit below the beam that's behind behind it now bear in mind that uh, you should do it start from the center here because i'm going to wrap this around so that it looks it looks even when it's I'm going around because it slowly bends into the structure as you can see and it's kind of slowly disappearing there and just kind of bring this all the way back here once that is added grab your two meter dark wood beam and you're just going to have these slide in so for the front here uh well we're going to make it just kind of rotate to the side so starting from the front so i'm going to slide this in i'm not holding on shift key there's no snapping point really but it's going to make it line up with the dark wood arch here and just rotate it uh, one time the direction just like that we'll just do this one right here do the same rotation one time slide it in like that and for the side right here let's do the same thing And you should have it looking like this. Now for the base here, we're going to grab our core wood, 2 meter core wood. And we're just going to hold on shift key and just going to slide it a little bit in close right there. And we're starting from this this uh, this part of the, the structure. And we just snap these one with ease, going around it like that. Great. Then you're going to grab your 2 meter beam and this same spot again. Hold down on shift key and this is going to halfway, uh, should be halfway into the ground, just like that. And this is going to do the same thing here. Let's wrap it around. So now that we have this area or this structure all done, so we're going to focus on connecting the, the uh, certain areas here well for here this is going to be a window so we're just going to get our two meter beams going to fold these sections here and beam top so 
turn the beam into the wall for the size right here. And do the base and then just grab your, your cage and just fill it in just like that. For the top here, we just we can slide it up and we have our cage there added. Uh, we'll leave here for now because we have something that we should add uh, here. Now for here, it's going to be a small doorway. So you're just going to place one of these small doors. We're just going to frame out the doorway right here. Actually, take out this bottom piece here because it's going to be a problem for you to walk underneath it. So you can leave it as that. So the... There's going to be a floor right here. Just going across just like that. And just bring it all over. Should have enough space here. You can put like a one meter uh, foot right here. Let's check to see if we have a good amount with head clearance. You can put one more and we should be good. So you have a nice little area here where you can maybe use for storage or whichever. So the other section that we need to open up, let me just break here and just kind of get in. Kind of show you what we, what I'm talking about. So for right here, there's going to be a doorway so you can connect to the other side of the structure. So you're going to take this out. Pull these in. So it's going to be a three door high. And you can see we are able to access this little section here and over here. And we're just going to put a, 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 one of these big doors. Just like that. And just... Kind of frame out the doorway. I'm gonna mark our doorway where we're gonna access our balcony. So we're gonna grab our one meter stone and just break this. Break the stone here, pull this back in. So the doorway should be total four meters uh, wide. Let's break that. And it should be four stone walls in height. It's for fitting that dark wood door in. So let's take that out. We should be able to slide the dark door in just like this i like to set it back well i want to set it back because i'm gonna add a little bit of detail to the size of these uh the side of the, the opening here so we're gonna grab our two meter hole with ball it's gonna place that right there and then we're gonna place one right in front of it what we're gonna do is that we're gonna create or create the custom columns right here Okay, so I went ahead and completed the, the column off screen and as you can see this is what I've done It's same like what I've done with the, the entrance there so nothing new but what is different that we're gonna do is up here and we're just going to grab our two meter beam and we're just gonna carry this all the way across just like this all the way across like that and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna work on a window that is going to be above and so we need to take out so we're gonna have to take out the stone here so this the window is gonna be four stone walls high so it's gonna be one we start from this grab or one meter stone because we're gonna need to fill this back here so one right there and this should go all the way over here and this should be open up and all the way up the so one two three four so right under so it should stop right where this with iron beam goes across so it should open up like this and what you're going to do is you're going to I'm going to cover this uh, this area here we're going to use wooden floor to do that because this is going to be one of our one of our floor when we go up top so for the windows so it's going to be different here so what you're going to do is that you're going to get your door this little small door we're going to center this piece because it creates a nice little snapping point like a half half of the one meter wood basically and we're just going to put like a two meter wood right there take this door out and then we're going to grab our dark wood two meter dark wood i'm going to place one right there and you're going to place one right there so you're going to bring this this uh two meter beam going across like this all the way over here and then you switch back to your two meter uh dark wood pole and fill these out just like that switch over to your dark wood arch place one on top of that pole here go in that direction basically you're going to do this 
uh, the other way around as well and get our windows frame out just like that switch over to your regular wooden pole and what you're going to do is that this you're going to put it in front of each of these these uh, dark wood uh, columns here and so this one's going to be right here the other should be about here we just make that snapping point with using a one meter wood rotate it so that the the edge of the wood is kind of facing you so do one over here as well so use one meter beam for that and continue on this side as well and going all the way up the top like that and you just kind of bring a wood going across here now for the base here what you're going to do is that you're going to so let me just take this out for the time being because it's kind of getting in the way so we're going to place a two meter beam going across so slightly above this the one behind it like that just giving it some depth giving it to build some depth here and just going across like this make sure it's lined up perfectly with the beam behind so that's they don't have no uh, spillage over on the side here then you can just slide in this uh, pole wooden pole there and there you have it so next detail you're gonna add you're gonna add these 45 degree beams here to the side snapping in the corners here and going up like that now one thing to note as well if in the case that you put these in and it seems like once it's like it's not centered and like one side has like too much uh, stone more than likely is this side would be the problem because uh, i was doing it right here and i had an extra stone here you might have noticed it in a couple of the shots earlier but i've made the adjustments so that this looked like it's centered and uh, everything looks uh, a-okay so just want to mention that now what we're going to do as well uh on top of this, we're going to add a bit more detail. So, we're going to manually place this in. Let's make sure at the top of up right here. Is it in line with this the side right here of the beam? Do the same thing here. Well, try to position it as best as possible so that it looks like it's uh, even on both sides. Uh, that looks good. And you just kind of bring this down uh, like this. And you're going to grab your 4 meter dark wood. And you're just going to add a little bit of detail here, just slightly above. So just like that. Then make sure it's in line. And just snap another right there. And you're going to get the 2 meter and just aim at the side and kind of turn it into the wood. The stone like that. You can do the other side here. 1, 2. So 2 rotations for those pieces. Uh, make sure that it's snapped properly. So let's correct that. There we go. And we should be good. Now we switch on over to a regular wooden beam and we're just going to carry the wood going all the way up like that one right here basically like one meter uh, gap so bring one down here one right here and the final piece right there and you should have something looking like this now we're going to fill out the windows using the burger walls and we're just going to place it in line with the the arch the dark wood arch And you should have something looking like that. Now, once you have that in place, now we can work on our little open roof concept we have going on right here on the balcony. We're going to grab our four meter core wood. And so you're going to aim at this one here. So there's going to be one right here. So let's aim right there. And another should be over here. So you should have a one meter beam, this two meter beam going across like this. Meet each, each of these core wood. And I'm gonna have one going in the front, into the front here, going across like this. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna get one meter wood. Now it's have that little design there. Fill in the middle parts here. And you're basically carrying this all the way back. So put one right here. Kind of leave that gap. I like that. And maybe put a one meter wood. Kind of go into. 
going into the wall the wood right here there's going to be like a, a window ledge here so we're going to add that in before we put the rest of it so it's going to be about we can start from right here and we can wrap wrap the edge about there and just bring this all the way across there you have it your nice little open concept here uh so if you have the plant everything mod you can plant those vines that you see in uh you saw in the preview uh build there so you can put it randomly just don't have like a, a a uh, calculated placement just place it randomly and make it uh, the natural feel of it flow also just kind of finish up the side here by adding the one meter wood in these little uh, these parts here and uh, that is it so now we're going to switch our focus to the main structure here for the back and the tower but we're going to do the tower first so what you're going to do is that you're going to raise this tower 22 stone walls high so this you can count this layout here so that's one so you just need to add 21 more stone on top of this to make the total 22 make sure that it's staggered so what i would normally do so you have the one meter right here so you can put a two meter here one meter meter two meter two meter one meter one meter two meter two meter and you do that uh, as you go go up another thing as well before you go all the way up with the stone wall let's make sure to add the uh, wood iron poles for support so what i would normally do so if i have one wood iron pole started from here because you don't need to put a lot so you put one here then you basically skip this wall and put another right here and then you'd skip this wall and then you put one right here you skip this wall and you put a one right here so that is uh, so you only need like about four uh best to kind of shift this maybe put it right here start from here Move this around is a start from here because seeing that this is going to be our doorway where we're going to use the tower to access different levels in this structure and also some other other structure as well that is going across to that tower so just want you to make sure to shift that over so let's get this one and we'll put one right here let's get this one and put one right here so you should have four of these but i'm always going up so while you're putting these stones up you're putting these uh with iron poles up so that your structure can be stable so i'm going to complete all of this off screen and show you what's next so once you have your tower done here so you're going to raise these walls so this one the back one and this one all 13 stone walls in height now they have the box in place here as you can see what i've done here so all the sides are up so you're going to focus on the back part here grab your one meter a stone you're gonna place one right here and you're gonna place the stone arch same place just like uh we're marrying the other side just like this uh just make sure that uh yes you need to add the wood iron pole so that you can get that it's a porch for that so that's gonna fill that in quickly here it's going all the way up this should be enough to support this little section middle section here that should be going up similar to this is halfway because you're gonna pick it back the support off of this tower and the support of the wood iron beam here uh, to support the middle so so we're going to put our arch back right here and we're just going to get our two meter stone just going across like that and just make a space right there let's put a one meter stone there just want to make it staggered and then put a one meter stone right here not a one meter stone right here and it should be about uh one more about here and that should be it but before we proceed by adding the roof we're going to work out the, the the floor so for so this is the doorway that will connect to our, our balcony so you're going to add your floor piece right here so not going to be anything fancy it's going to be regular floors so you have that uh, added you can just fill this one out here so you're going to create a doorway to access the tower because the tower is what's going to be used to get to access these floors so you're going to break uh, these walls here so make about three stone walls high that should be good and then we're just going down to the, the bottom here uh let's go at the front and you can do the same here just break these two here pull that back like that 
should be your doorway so next what you're going to do is that you're going to make an opening right here so about well, you're gonna have like a so this is gonna be like a two meter space so gonna take that out i can put one meter uh, stone back here so two meter space here let's make sure that this is snapped in properly and we're gonna take this out i'm gonna put uh so it's gonna be uh, the opening should be one uh, two meter stone and one meter stone space so in total it should be three meter space right here so take this out take that out fill that back in so we're just kind of going all the way up right here at this point take this out and put that back in and we're going to leave a one meter stone uh, space here so take this out this out leave a one meter stone space over here so it should be the same like uh, over here so basically a two meter and a one meter stone uh gap take this out that back in take this out and put that back in so this should be your opening as you can see from right here so it's basically one two three four five six and make an open the same level as the floor so once you have this open up so you're going to go downstairs here in the tower so the bottom floor and you're going to open up this side here as well to access this structure which uh, this part here is going to be our kitchen and for the meantime we we'll take this out to mark our fireplace so it should be we got grab a one meter stone here and fill this back in should be two four meter stone uh width and just leave this open here so it should be wide enough to hold a hearth so you can take out a hearth here and test it out so as you can see just like that and next you're going to open up over here where we're going to put our doorway to access the area we're going to eat so we're going to break that stone break that one so it's going to be four meters in in width so two of these two meter stones so we'll take this out this one out this back in so it should be big enough to hold the dark wood doors now we're going to add the roof so we're just going to grab our 45 degree also there's one more little bit of detail here to add at the front so you're going to get your one meter wood snap these in right in these little spots here and this should be the final look of it and then we're going to switch on over to our 45 degree roof and you're going to so it should be starting from about there you should have a overhang and what should happen as well you should have the wooden wall to slide up just like that right in, the, in those creases here so we're just going to bring this roof all the way up just like that the top here and just bring it down on the other side So it should look like this so you can just do the rest of it and then just fill this out and also to put the wooden walls at the bottom right here to kind of fill out the gap that you're going to see right there and also you can do it on the inside so you can just place the wooden wall on the top okay so once you have the roof piece in so just a little bit of correction here so if your roof and uh, end up looking like this so with the stone kind of leaving this little pocket here or this gap so there was supposed to be a, an extra a row here so i'm going to just take that out and just put a two meter stone right here just swap this out two meter stone just gonna push this one in and we should have one more right at the top so that is it for the roof now for this little section here so we're just going to grab our dark wood arch and what you're going to do is going to be the top of the dark wood arch going to be in line with the floor here so you're going to bring it all the way over to the side like this about here and you're going to do the same for about here then you're going to grab your floor and just kind of fold it this in just going across get your dark dark wood beam going across like that then you're going to grab your dark wood pole two meter pole and you're going to place one right here it's currently every two meter two meter space and then we're going to get our dark wood arch Once you have that in, so you're going to get your regular walls here. And I like to use the back. I'm just going to bring this all the way up. 
And for the top right here, we just kind of switch this around, use the smooth part. Well, actually, let's use the 26 degree uh, wall, degree wall, based on top of that. And do the same thing on the other side. We kind of use the back here. Switch back to the 26 degree wall. Get that snap in. Get your one meter beam. Snap one in that direction and the other to create the overhang for the roof. Get your 26 degree beam. Snap in and go the back to it. Go into the wall like that. We're going to do the same thing here. One meter beam. And just grab 26 degree. Let's go into the wall like that. Actually, I prefer... So if you want it to be a lot cleaner, where it's basically would stop right here. Uh, an easy way of doing that is an easy trick of using the core wood, create a snapping point right here. And then you can use the... Use that point to snap it into the other beam, just like that. Then you get your 26 degree roof and kind of fill and fill this out going across. So I went ahead and added the iron cages for the windows and the crystal glass, and also added the iron cage going across at the top and the raven for the front here. Now for the base here, you're just gonna grab your four meter or four by two meter stone wall, and you're just gonna bring it. Uh, let's just bring it about right here. Should be good and just gonna bring it uh, all the way back here and build the top of it with the stone stairs and you can do the bottom here kind of tuck in the stone stairs as well and just grab your half wall and kind of fill these little areas here and that is it for the structure we have this side here so for this part where we're going to put our heart we grab our heart try the heart is kind of lined up with this stone structure here and you're going to get a 26 degree roof uh it can be it don't have to be a tar roof it can just be one of these straw roof it's just to help the smoke to kind of slide out and not slide into the bill inside of the bill grab your 4 by 2 meter and just place it to the side right here and one over here kind of tucked into the wall so just another adjustment here so we're going to put another 4 by 2 meter stone on top of the other one and one over here you grab your stone floor and you just going to place it slightly overhanging to the left and place one more in front of it so it should overhang to the front just like that and we just go across like this Tuck this one into the wall and should have it looking like this should be all supported and it is not anything fancy here <laughs> i tend to not fancy up the fireplace but uh we can uh well for the back that is so we can add a little detail here and we can add some detail at the base here to get our meter stone and get our stone floor kind of overlap into uh, the stone like that and that would be basically for a fireplace. Uh, we could bring this over. So grab our 4 by 2 meter stone. And have it uh, merged into the other one. Slide it and grab your stairs. And the slide piece right here. And one right here. We can do this to the top right here. And grab your half wall. Wooden wall. And pull that out. And you should be good to go. Now there's a little detail I did around here in the back. I basically added a column kind of going down just like this. It's kind of close up this area a bit. And I did a this 45 degree wood right here, just going all the way up. This did not make around the back here. So it doesn't look a bit boring. So I add another beam here for depth. Okay, this is that one out set that properly and get a wood kind of going across just like this so basically kind of replicating the design we did with the front so we're gonna get rotated so that the edge of the wood is showing and kind of do it right here the one right here and bring this one up just like that and we can bring this down more right here and you can leave this as is 
And we're just gonna add a, a wooden wall down at the base right here. Okay, so for the fireplace here, we're gonna clean this up a bit. I'm gonna place a. So we're gonna do. I'm gonna remove this for now because we already know how the heart's gonna be. So we're gonna place down a two meter beam, and I'm gonna st do start it from like this side here, so inside of the the fireplace, and one right here because we can't do it from the front because we don't have much space on this side to do it. So kind of place it in front of it, just like that. And over the other side, let's kind of place that in front of it as well. Should be good. And we're just going to do our custom columns. And just we're going to wrap it around like that. And I'll just show you the finished look of it because uh, you guys should be familiar with the custom colors already so far. So once you have the, co the columns in, so let's place like a wood right here, one bit of wood or any wood at all. So that we can have the dark wood arch kind of aim at it so it can stick itself right into the column on that side. And just kind of aim on the other side right here so that it can do this. And then we just grab our 2 meter uh, wood, hold down on shift key and just slightly, just place it slightly above uh, just like that. And uh, kind of bring this across just use a one meter wood and just bring this across like that and you just can put your heart back in and you should be good to go from there and we're just gonna open up a little doorway here it's gonna access our courtyard so just gonna break this out so it's gonna be one two three and just make sure that it's pretty much centered so this is how it should look on the other side there should be a doorway here as well we're just gonna take these take these out it's gonna pull this back in so it should be it should be about that so for this tower you're going to raise the stone walls you're gonna add 12 more stone uh stone walls in height on top of this so in total you should have 13 including this layout right here so you're going to repeat the same step that you did with the tower and I'll show you what to design one of the tower which you can repeat on the second tower because they are both the same so once you have the both of these towers all set here so this should be as I mentioned 13 stone walls high so you're going to grab your dark wood arch and you're going to place uh, it right there in the group and one right here so you're going to rotate it for it to not to be positioned this wall or this wall so that it has its own snap uh, direction right in the middle there so you're doing the same thing for all the sides here. So once that is in place, you're going to get to your one meter wood and you're just going to create a snapping point here because we're not going to go all the way out here. One right here. So you're going to do it for each of them. So you're going to grab a four meter forward and just uh, snap it in the new snapping point that you have created with the one meter wood make sure they're all snapped in properly then you're going to grab your dark wood arch and you're going to this one right here so you're going to frame out basically frame out the windows just like that i've uh, went ahead and added the arch uh, but kind of push out of the front like, like that for each of these uh, these little corners here uh, this is basically where we're going to start our roof uh, but for the front right here so the same snapping point where you use one meter foot to create you're going to snap these in between here to kind of fully frame out the windows so next you're going to grab your regular two meter wall and you're just going to fill out the bottom here it's adding no detail just going around the structure like this once you have the this end then we're going to focus on the roof here so you're going to grab your 45 degree and you're just going to attach one right here and another right here once you add these 45 degree beam you're going to get your core wood and you're going to aim right underneath the beam here so that you can provide it with adequate support for this one going all the way up uh, leaving it like this will cause your roof to crumble right in the middle so I want you to make sure to have that in. So you're going to do it for all of these ones right here. Once you have the 45 degree beam in place, you will also fully connect the two meter from this side, one over here and one right here. 
So I did it all around the, the structure already. So you can go ahead and do that. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is that we grab our 45 degree roof shingle and just place. So the method I do is place start from the sides. So place one right here, place one over here on the other side and place one in the middle. Then you proceed to the top and you see I have a snapping point there. So it will, it will spill over on the other side like that. That is fine. Let's snap on the other side just like that. You're good. And you go all the way up like that. Place it in the center. You should have something looking like that. So you should do the same thing on each of these sides here. So side, side, and middle. Over here to the side, over to the side. Then right here, right in the middle. Just like that. So there's a snapping point there. So it makes it a lot easier to do all of this. Bear in mind, it's the 45 degree roof. So you will slide. <laughs> and don't blame me for your. your the many deaths that you may go through in trying to attempt these towers but yeah <laughs> expect some slip ups still <laughs> so once you have all the roof pieces in what you're going to do is that you're going to get to your wooden floor and just going to fill underneath here going around the structure like this and also you would use your iron cage to for the windows So for the detail underneath the tower so that it it, it doesn't look flat underneath uh let me just show you what i've done so i've added some little core wood and uh beams with regular wooden beams and as you can see it adds a nice little touch here i've already added it on the, the tall tower right there so what i did is that i grab two meter core wood and i hold down on shift key and just manually place it in just like that hold on shift key again just kind of draw it close uh, closely and place that in this uh, watch the side here just make sure that i just kind of draw in just a little bit not way over to the other side so it kind of the tip of it kind of merge into the the dark wood arch right here it feels like everything is just flowing in one smooth line so we're going to switch over to our two meter uh with regular wooden beam and what i did with this one is that i aim underneath the core wood so I hold down on shift game aim underneath and slide it a little bit in just like that and uh, Make sure that they do the same thing on the other side. Now, once the the top the core at the top is lined, uh, is straight all around, then it's a no brainer for placing these uh, beams underneath. Then I would switch back to the core wood, middle core wood beam, and I would manually place this in, and just kind of make look at, look at the edge there, the tip, just to be in line with the dark wood arch. Just do the same thing here. Let's draw this a little closer and uh, complete it like that so i did this did this on both of the towers so it's the same so you can go ahead and do that too so next we're going to work on this area here we're going to raise a wall uh, using the four meter stone walls i'm going to place it on top of this layout here and kind of overlap it and do that and we're going to break this uh, root piece here and take out this wooden wall and what we're going to do we're going to grab our wooden 45 degree wall and we're going to take this out as well because it's going to be at the same level as this floor because what we're going to do is that we're going to we're going to be a doorway right here and access over here so, so right here we're going to put the 45 degree wall and also we're going to put a floor stone floor like this we're also going to put some detail here where we just grab our stone arch and we just basically place uh, we'll place one right here, one right here, and just kind of wrap this around. Place one right there, and then grab our stone columns. And I manually place this in because I want to center it so that uh, it's basically shared between these these two arches, and have it done like this. I do the same thing over here, kind of slightly slide it in uh, halfway in there and have this design done uh, i would add a stone floor at the base right here and add the stone stairs in between it just like that and for the top right here we just grab our two meter stone and we just kind of snap that in gonna go across like that and we just get our one meter stone and do a style like that uh it's you don't necessarily have to do the same thing as me but just kind of giving you an idea right there so I'll open up a doorway right here so that you can 
I'll make use of because there's a lot of space within, within the tower that you can make use of. For right here, we we're gonna have the 45 degree a roof ridge, and we're gonna snap it right here. And right in the back here, we can place one in. And we could just leave it just like this, and we can throw down a door right here. So within the courtyard here, so a few little bit of details that to add. So there's a doorway right here, a doorway right here, and a doorway right here, which we're going to all connect. I've made an opening right here, which let me just show you, which this is uh, the, the second floor. So I made a doorway right here, so you can check it by two, me two meter space and then create a door here. And what we're going to do is that I'm going to get a regular wood and we're just going to carry this across just like that. And for right here, what we're going to do is that we're going to add a regular stairs. And then we add a regular floor, wooden floor. And we can just wrap this around. And so it basically connects to these two uh, doorways. So we have one over here and one over here. And what we can do is that we can use our wooden wall. Well, preferably you can use like the wood shutters. And the reason is that wood shutters don't get weather, weather damage. And what I will also do, I would add a few wood trims here, which I like to do. But as I said, this is optional. It's not really um, that you must. I mean, everyone has their own uh, style, their own flavor that they could add to this. But kind of showing you what I what I did for for my build, or if you want to copy the same thing. And for here, I've made like an opening here for maybe using this for. Uh, I think I use it for like a for when we making a forge or something of that sort so you can do that too or you can use it for something else uh whichever so these are a lot of space that is can be used here and finally what i've done is i've used core wood to snap within these little joints here to connect it to the main tower right here and we would have like a bridge of some sort to connect to this to the top of this tower i didn't want to put like a stairway coming up here because uh i wanted to make use of the, the space uh much better and i think this was like a, a much better way of making use of it connecting a bridge and i think it added a little style or adds to the architecture so i mentioned that this tall tower was used to access certain floors in the, this structure here where the ground floor or the first floor and the second floor which is a bedroom so what i did is i used the Sparrow steers, the new sparrow steers, uh, we missed an update and I would position it this way. Uh, there's a reason why I position it this way so that, uh, it, when it comes, uh, close around, you're able to make a little, uh, little step here where it kind of meets, but not everyone will have this to put in. So I have a sparrow steers design that I could, um, I can show you guys. So we're going to grab our four meter core wood. Are you gonna place it in the center? This kind of eyeball it. I think this is close enough. And what you're gonna do, let me just maybe bring this over a little bit right, right here. That's that should be good. Once you have that in place, you can grab your one meter wood. And this is what I would normally do. So you would start from the, the end here. Uh so kind of work with this the, the line here. Let me just gonna point out this. So this line right here is gonna be very important when you're doing the sparrow stairs. So just want you to make note of this. To make this sparrow steer, so what you're gonna do is just grab your one meter wood and you place the core wood right in the center of the structure and just hold down on shift key and you're just going to align the front of the one meter wood with the core wood just like that going across and just rotate it one time like this and what you're going to do is at the back of the wood as you can see so this little line here in the middle of the one meter wood that goes across you can see it. you're going to line that the edge the front the right edge of the one meter wood to the end of this uh let me just point out so the end of this uh this one meter wood right here so the end of the one meter wood kind of lined with the other one meter wood underneath it right in the middle just like that and well, once you have that place down you just uh, grab another one and just place it right on top of it and you're going to the one that you place on top you're going to connect one beside it just like that you can take the bottom one out just like that then you rotate it one time you're basically doing the same thing it's gonna line it up right there place another one up top place one to the side 
fix that properly. So place one to the side. Take the one off from underneath like that. Do the same thing here. One rotation to kind of line it up. Place one more up top. One to the side. Now, there are times that it may start to position itself out of the forward. So you may just have to readjust where you may may not have to follow that rule of putting it in the edge there. But it's good to start with it and kind of get you to understand the idea. So let's take that out. So you see what was happening here. You're getting a nice little sparse tears here. And what can, be, what can happen is that uh, when you're going all the way up, and uh, all the way up here the edges can touch the stone wall so that it can provide support so that is something that uh, you guys can try okay so this is how the spiral stairs look when you go ahead and build it uh there's some little extra wood i should take out right here but i just wanted to show you guys how it looks and um, what you should expect so uh once you're kind of having this uh, continuous flow and there's no break in it where what i mean a break in this flow like this i would call this like a break and what issue this will cause is that uh, it will mess up with the, the head clearance when you're going down as you can see it's really cramped right here so i had to use regular steers right here to kind of reset it i didn't snap it in i had to place it on top of the the wood and then kind of start from there again so you can bear in mind of that so i had an issue with getting to the, the first floor here but uh, for the other floors uh let's see for like right here it was pretty easy and for accessing the, the to get to the other tower this was pretty easy as well and there's no other floors to be worried about so like if you do this let's go all the way up there should be no biggie it's just with the, the trying to line it up with the these little doorways it is a problem so you have to bear in mind of that and you may have to make some little adjustments here and there so that it can work because it definitely can work as you can see it just takes a little bit of patience and uh, a little bit of playing around and uh, certainly this will work out for you and until you can get the, the actual spiral stairs that should make it a lot easier another little detail here that i've added so once you have like the bridge added here it's just a basic bridge i didn't need to show you guys how to make one i mean you can use uh you can even turn it into a possibly stone with the use of uh iron beams to help you out with that but well, what i've done here for this main tower where i have the bridge added i just kind of wrap it around with these little little uh, walls here uh and i said this is a not, not an optional thing here but if you like what you see then you can just go ahead and just do this so i like to do that and maybe add a, another layer where i can use uh core wood uh wrap around the edges here I'm just kind of manually place it in but uh this is that is if you have the patience to place these in and for the base of the towers, I use the two meter stone here, to kind of stack these up. And I use the stairs going up top right here, going like that. And I would use the columns to get the corners like right here. And then switch back to the two meter stone, just like this. Snap that in and add the stairs on top of it like that. So I did this all around the base here. And I did it for the big tower right here as well. So you can go ahead and do that. So that is it guys that's pretty much the build so i'm going to show you guys what i've done with the interior and kind of give you an idea as to how the overall layout of this mansion
so that is it hope you guys enjoyed the video I want to thank my youtube member supporters and patrons for keeping the channel going and thank you for watching